So the main Castilian army has been beaten quite a while ago and I continued this war a little bit off camera just to move it forward a little bit faster because yeah it's a lot of micromanaging in involved in getting all your troops around and so yeah I did that and now we're actually up to the point where we can peace out Castile for whatever we want. Well um, yeah Novgorod decided to add a demand to Con dismantle constructions in Buenos Aires, something I'm totally not interested in. The Inca fought in this war, they were, you know, officially in it, but we've never seen a single Incan soldier. So, you know what? Uh, we'll just disregard this. I don't want anything from the Inca, at least not at the moment. So, I think we'll solely uh, propose this piece for Castile, and this is actually what they would accept. So I think this might be the right time to, to do it. We cannot add any more war goals to acquire any states or whatever. I still haven't figured out why, because, um, yeah, I don't know. But if you have an idea, you can obviously let me know. But for this war, it won't help. I'll just peace out, and um, we'll take all of our cores back. This will look hideous, but, you know, there's not much I can do about it. So, um... Yeah, I think we'll just go ahead, and the reason I want to peace out right now is because there are rebels. Rebels that pop up. It's not many rebels, but still, why should I deal with Castilian rebels if I, well, if I could let them handle them? So yeah, that's what we're going to do. The first legion is still looking strong. We'll move you back to Rome, and now we actually have a lot of things to do. Okay, so we've, yes, we have taken all of our stuff back. In fact, we now have some lands that we never owned before. These are all lands that we got, and we... Well, that, that, that were never under our control, and yeah, now you see why I wanted to have Tlemcen as well. But sadly, that was not possible. We'll, we'll get it at some point, though. We'll get it at some point. <laughs> yes. Anyway, uh, so that's pretty nice. I guess what I will do now is uh, I will reinforce... Uh, not reinforce, but I will rearrange our troops. This army, for example... Hmm, well, where were they? I don't remember exactly, but I believe some of them were down here. Well, I guess what I should do is delete some of the ones. Mm, well, yeah, you are pretty dead. You are pretty dead. Alright, let's uh, delete the undermanned brigades. This is two. Let's do that. The same thing here. So we have... Alright, fine. Well, that's okay. We'll send you to Djibouti. Yes. And we'll have you, I believe, go to Alexandria. Yes, then we have one more, the 5th Legion, and the 9th Legion, uh, you're currently engaged. The 9th Legion is actually completely destroyed. Um, there's actually not much point in having them around. There's there almost no people that can support it. I'll, we'll just delete the 9th Legion, we'll destroy everyone we have here too. The 5th will go to Tunis, we'll have our ships coming back as well, the Sevilla fleet. Ah, uh, well, we'll have you in the Balears, I believe. You're actually quite damaged. And then the Channel Fleet. 91 ships? No, that's just 80. All right. We'll have you in probably Taloon. That's fine. And we need to do something with this army too. The 10th Legion. We'll have you in over there. Yes. And this, you guys, I will have you. Avignon. Just move together. And that's fine for now. Anyone else? We have, I think, one more fleet 99 ships i would like you to go back to venice yes because i don't know what to do with you right now awesome now i've also been accepting some Ooh, our name looks very nice i've been accepting some more alliances let me see if that if we still have them so we have the alliance with Cherokee. you knew that but i also accepted the alliance with malacca because they kind of control the straits here and they are kind of a counterweight to the Karites because we lost the Warsaw bits as an ally because they're now in the sphere of influence of the Karites. So, um, yeah, this is scary. We have no enemy or no ally in the east. So having Malacca is definitely helping us out quite a bit. All right, so Castile is no longer a great power, it seems. So let's see who we have as great power. We have Ojibwe and we have France as great powers again. All right. That seems about right. That seems about right. And yeah. All right. Now, Ojibwe was previously actually in the sphere of the Inca. So I'm glad that they are now a great power because that was scary. That was certainly scary. All right. All kinds of people are demobilizing. And do we still have some wars going on? Yes. Still Korea and Shun fighting against Rostov and Shu. But it's not really a 
you know, particularly important battle. Now, Castile, let's see if we can get you... No, we have a truce. All right. The Inca or the United Kingdom is also allied with the Karaites. So that's kind of scary. Um, maybe we want to improve relations here. Yes, that would probably be a good idea. All right. Other than that, we need to check out our economy. It's actually doing pretty well. So I think what we should do is, well, definitely reduce our land maintenance and maybe reduce... Well, the tax of the rich, I think. That's the first thing we'll do. And we also should probably check our politics, because we have some movements, I think. Yes, we have Byzantine reactionaries, Jacobin rebels, and Hungarian nationalists. These bastard Hungarians. Well, let's see. Tabrizi Liberation Revolt, which is the biggest abolitionist movement calling for an the enactment of outlaw slavery. Interesting. People want to outlaw slavery. What about Tyrol? Campaign for free press. Hmm. I I could suppress some of this. I think I don't really care about free press. This is something I don't really mind all that much, I think. Hmm. But this I definitely care about. I think we'll re repress that. Yes, we'll suppress that. And we'll see how things go. Other than that, don't have much decisions. Alright, that's fine. Okay, move on. We have some newspapers to read. Armistice signed. Castile surrenders. On n November 10th, 1848, the Great War... Uh, yes. Thank you. The Great War between Byzantine Empire and Castile ended in a glorious victory. The war known as Byzantine Liberation of Castile and Libya raged from 1846 uh, over... Uh, yes, and in the end result, uh, okay, yeah, that's a great grammar there. Anyways, we won, which is nice. Ojibwe is a great power, um, and Shu fears our might. Well, rightfully so. Okay, it seems as if Inca has discredited, um, France has discredited United Kingdom. All right, uh, yes, nice. They are doing their shenanigans. We have, we're friendly with Tabriz. Um, I might want to discredit the uh, car rides here. Let me see if I can do that. Yes, go ahead and discredit them just so that it's going to be a little bit difficult, uh, more difficult for them to do stuff, stuff. We also have a new technology. Let's see. All right. Well, hmm. Is there anything in commerce that we might want to go with? Silver standard, tax efficiency. That sounds like something a Midas Touch would be interested in. All right. Factories, market structure, organized. Mm, yes, I think this is something we'll do. We're still a Midas touched. Let's go for it. Yes, ad hoc money bill printing. Uh, printing. Yes, we'll go for that. Sweet, and that should also give a boost because it's it's part of commerce. Nice. Um, you are doing all kinds of things. Yes. So, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, the Warsaw bits. We are cordial. Okay, and they have discredited us over there. So that's going to be difficult to kick the car rights out of out of there. Uh, in fact, I think it's it might, might even be impossible. All right, well, now that we, now that we're making so much money, we can further reduce the taxes. Yes, look how nice we are to our people. Maybe that was a bit much. That seems to be a bit much. Oh, and I knew the freaking Cherokee would be a problem. I knew that. What do you want? Creek, Mississippi. All right, well, let's see, who, who do you have? Who's your ally? You have no allies. Well, fine, we'll join in. But I'm not going to send a single soldier, I can tell you that much. I will not send a single soldier. All right, Rostov declared... Oh, there's a war. Bavaria is at war. Bavaria and France fighting Holstein and Liege. What is this all about? Bavaria is liberating... or well, tries to liberate Bohemia. Getting France involved. I think France will lose this. Once again, they have tried to take on Liege and Holstein before. And the French lost. And that's actually caused them to lose their great power status. Wow. So I'm... Uh, kind of our Byzantine Empire is sort of a anchor of peace. Um, not, is, it, is it called an anchor? Or I'm saying something wrong? Yeah. Well, anyway. It's it's a realm of peace in, in the scary Europe. Okay. We have the Roslets that we can add to a sphere of influence. Let's go ahead and do that. Now, the Roslets are important because they control... Uh, the other part of the uh, of the Gulf of Aden, or I guess the other landmass, what's it called? Well, the other side 
of the uh, of the straight here. So that's important that we have them under control. We have a problem here with the worser bits being in enemy control. We will not have a easy time moving out of here. So I would like to get them in our sphere of influence if possible. The rest doesn't really matter all that much. Karites agree to aid the United Kingdom. Interesting. So we have United Kingdom Karites fighting Luba. Well, I'm glad I'm not allied to Luba then. Because that would have been a pain. That would have certainly been a pain. Now, one thing I probably want to do right now, since that was not possible before, I would like to see if we can justify a war. No. We have a truce. Okay. Well, once this truce runs out, I will probably justify a war just to get Thompson. Because it looks hideous. Alright, Cherokee and Creek at war. France has risen. as a great power. As we know that already. And... Uh, what's going on? More wars? No. Okay. The Karajs want military axes. No. We will decline. You broke the alliance with us, so I will decline. Okay, we have... Tensions dissipate. Tensions in this fool, Byzantine and Khuzestan, have been running high for quite some time, but lately, there seems to have been a change in the wind. Th things seem calmer in the area for some reason, and many militants are returning to useful occupations. It might be that we are perceived as too strong to resist, but it might also just be that the anger has burned itself out. Well, that's certainly nice, so people are less pissed off. One thing I would like to check out, though, is if we are able to... Uh, colonize some more things. It does not look like it. It does not look like that. <sighs> Alright. Alright, that's fine. That is fine by me then. Yeah. Alright. Well, there's not much I can do then. Uh, the Roswells went bankrupt. Well, great. Maybe I should help him out? I'm not sure. We're officially at war. Let's see if we can improve relations with you guys. Just a little bit, because, you know, I'm a bit scared. The United Kingdom and Karites, they're kind of encircling us, feels like. Uh, you switching great power places. And we should probably re-increase our relations with the Inca. They don't need to be all that low. Um, yes. Maybe Holstein would be useful to increase relations with as well. And you too. Let's also check our allies, by the way. Because Cherokee, they like us quite a bit. Malacca, yeah, let's increase relations with you too. Sweet. And the Razalits will can improve relations. I cannot. Alright, we don't have enough points. That's fine then. That is fine. Let's check out our economy then. We have... Why am I subsidizing all of these factories? I don't remember doing that. Yeah, I'm not... I'm not subsidizing the others. Huh. Should we turn on these... Oh, should we open these factories? Why am I subsidizing this? I'm not entirely sure. Does that... Did I... Hmm. Well. I'm not sure when I decided to do that. Did I even do that? It seems strange, because I, I said I didn't want to do that. I know that I wanted to support the streamer shipyard and the uh, clipper shipyard. Um, hmm. Well, we have discovered advanced ore grinding processes. This process cleaned the ore from byproducts that tended to the fact the latter finished metal. Uh, by using this technique, the finished metal would have higher quality, durability, and because of the large quantity, turn over a lower price. I feel like I've read that before. <laughs> Honestly, I do. Air, I will not accept your lines. I'm not interested. Um, sorry. Okay, so economy is doing alright. Still, why am I... Yeah, I don't want that. I, I don't want to support any of this. I don't want to support this, honestly. This is what others have to do. We'll probably, once we... Once our new empress takes over, this will change. But at the moment, I don't want to support this stuff. If this is not profitable, then... Yeah, that's not my problem. That is not my deal. This is fine, because we're a navigator. We want this stuff. But yeah, we're actually losing money because of it. Uh, France wants military axes. Let me see who's France fighting again. Sure. Actually, you're winning. Hmm. No, they're not. They did give us military axes. Still. No, I will not give it to them. I will refuse. Um, the Warsaw Bats is accusing us of things we've never even heard of. The car rides are behind this. Ah, damn. Scientists in that country have discovered coke. 
It was coal that had been enriched by a special process. By treating the coal, more energy could be turned into power, and it could also clean iron and other metals more effectively. Sweet. So we're, yeah, making some progress there. And um, our literacy is increasing as well. Maybe we want to, yeah, tax you guys a bit more. That was, that was too much leave aid I've uh, given you. Yeah, because because we need the money, don't we? Yes. All right, what's this? Um, a new upper house has been arranged. Awesome. A discriminatory school system. So the schools in that uh mitigate the policy slightly, keep them ignorant. What does that do? Is not Greek, is not accepted culture. Yes, I think that's what we should do. Um, yeah, so the schools in Deprison are heavily geared towards supporting the small Greek minority, and we will uh, we'll do that. We'll continue this practice. At least I think this is the right thing to, to do. Okay, what's going on here? United Kingdom accept the peace with Luba. Acquire Luban Bas Congo. So they're growing ever more stronger down here. British Africa. I see. Uh, any more wars that we can see? No, we have Cambodia. Cambodia and Pegu fighting Burma. And we have the Great Horde attacking Shu. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. Karaites are uh, granting... Oh, there is a peace. Wow. Shu acquires Shun, Mongolia, Ganzu, Chongqing. Wow. And cut them down in size. Wow. Look at Shu growing that much stronger. Very nice for them. Very nice for them indeed. Right, war between Yan and Korea that has just broken out. So many wars going on. Yes. So Yi and Yan against Korea and Shun. Oh my god, poor Korea and Shun. They are just absolutely getting wrecked. There's nothing they can do. Yeah, yeah, just Yan will just take over like all of this, I could imagine. But to be fair, that would look better. It would look better <laughs> in their defense. Okay, we also not maybe need to clean up the Great Horde, because that one's ugly too. Um, we have discovered Bassama Steel, uh, more steel production, sweet, and another thing to read, okay, yes, United Kingdom fears were coming, and look at this, look at France being overrun again, yep, there's some more rebels, actually, you know what, why are my armies here, totally forgot about them, alright, yeah, let's get you together, and I would like you to move to, well, Venice, I think, it would be great, Way to start. Great place to start, anyway. Anarcho-liberals. A group of liberals disgruntled with their lack of economic freedom and the pace of parliamentary reform have formed a new faction in Holsteinian politics. The anarcho-liberals anarcho are the revolutionary avant-garde of the liberal ideology and they will not hesitate to use whatever means necessary to see their ideas of freedom and free trade instituted both in Holstein and abroad. Well, we know how to deal with these people for sure. Um, so far, economy we need to check out. The rest is actually looking pretty good. Our people are quite happy. They're get even getting luxury needs med. So, so there we are. There's only a few people getting nothing, but uh, those are probably the ones that are unemployed. Not my fault. All right, so Bavaria is pushing back Holstein here, but France is being pushed back. This is actually kind of an interesting war. It looks as if Bavaria is winning. Hmm. Well, I will have to think about what I do if I really want to get involved in this, but probably not. Um, also, did I... Yeah, we definitely need to put Australia into our sphere. That's for sure. Anyone else that I might want to put into my sphere? We have Tabriz, we'll get... In Marina, we'll get... Alright, the rest is fine. Good. So I'll leave it at that for now. Um, yes, that's all fine. And I believe... We will call this an episode. We might have to rebuild our armies a little bit. I have the feeling we kind of need to do that. But we'll focus on that a little bit later. Anyways, for now I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. And I will see you guys next time.